Okay, for the purposes of this video, we're going to install a goal setter basketball system. Uh, it'll be for a driveway or a small pad in a backyard. Uh, my name is Mike Murley. I am a professional assembler, technician. Uh, I have been installing uh, basketball goals and many other uh, products that require installation or assembly for many years. And I'm also the founder of the United Assemblers Network where I've helped train hundreds of technicians all over the country how to install basketball goals correctly. If you follow the manufacturer's instructions, which is the goal setter system in this case, and the tips that I'm going to give you on this video, you will have a properly installed basketball system that you will be able to enjoy for years. One thing I cannot overstress is the importance of reading the directions. You need to read them and study them. I would like to suggest that you do the same as I have done here with the directions. Read them, highlight them, what you might think is important areas, and mark them up with your own notes that you may feel is important before you get started. Now as far as playing surface, you want as much as possible. So the placement of your goal is very, very important because you do not want the uh, backboard, the front of your backboard, to be behind the line of the playing surface. Uh, what that can cause is all kinds of problems as far as tripping, twisting your ankle, and the other thing is when the ball comes down out of the net, it could hit the edge of your playing surface and shoot off in many, many directions and it gets kind of uh, tiring chasing, chasing after the ball. So make sure that the backboard is at a minimum of one foot inside of the playing area. That's going to make it much, much better for you. Okay, one of the things that you're going to want to make sure that you do before you even start digging is to call the universal number 811. That is 811. That is to the utility so they can come out and mark your area of where any buried utilities may be. One of the things that you do not want to do is during your dig is to hit one of the utilities uh, which could cause a, a, a big problem. So again, when you, before you even do anything on the dig part, make sure that you call that universal number 811. Alright, another very important thing that you want to do before you start your dig and mixing your concrete, because if you mix your concrete and this uh, ground anchor, anchor is, not, um, is not ready, uh, you could run into problems. So what you need to do is get yourself a socket um, that, that will uh, remove the plastic plugs that are on the, uh, the, the ground anchor. So remove all of your plastic plugs and then get one of the black uh, bolts that, will be, that you will be using to bolt the actual pole to the ground anchor. So what you'll want to do is insert the bolt that is going to connect the pole to the ground anchor and make sure that all of the, you need to remove all of them now because what you're going to want to do is you're going to, before you put this plate in, into the ground and concrete it in, you're going to want to make sure that these bolts will go all the way through. And to do that, just remove all of them, grab one of the black bolts, and then start running the bolt in until you see the um, threads coming out the bottom of the plate right here. 